Six years after Paris Climate Agreement, pressure mounts ahead of the COP26 summit in Glasgow. Seen by activists as the last chance to save the planet, leaders from 120 countries will be there to tackle the complex issue of how to limit the rise of global average temperatures to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The international meeting starts on Sunday and will last two weeks. We need leadership for credible commitments for decarbonisation to reach the goal of net zero mid-century, but we also need sufficient commitments to really cut the emissions this decade. Science is very clear on that. Science tells us it's urgent. To prevent catastrophe, the scientists tell us that we must cut our global greenhouse gas emissions by at least 45 percent by 2030 in order to get to net zero by 2050. We head to Glasgow in that context. And I head to Glasgow an optimist. All eyes were on China as it published on Thursday its eagerly awaited climate plan. Observers said although the country was promising to reduce its emissions before 2030, it was offering no significant ambition as the world's biggest carbon producer. I mean, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be a big, big challenge. This is getting almost 200 countries to reach consensus on some of these difficult issues that have been outstanding for six years now. Along with China's deceiving prospects, India, the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases, said it might not submit any target at all, creating concerns that the summit could fail to reach its goal.